So it's the first North London derby of the season this weekend, as Tottenham head to the Emirates to take on rivals Arsenal. There's been somewhat of a power shift in North London in recent years, with Spurs replacing Arsenal as the top team, as Pochettino builds an exciting and young side, eclipsing the tired and weary Arsene Wenger and his faltering Arsenal team. While the trophies are yet to flow for Spurs, the Premier League has Tottenham as the superior force in North London, and in fact it's been more than three and a half years since Arsenal beat their rivals in the Premier League. That was a 1-0 win at White Hart Lane for the Gunners in March 2014, so let's look at who started for both sides and where they are now. Starting with the home team, Tottenham went into the game in 5th place and too far from the Champions League places, with Tim Sherwood managing the side following Andres villas boas dismissal. Sherwood's last job was director of football at Swindon Town, but he left in June this year and is now seen doing some bits of punditry. In goal was Hugo Lloris. The French stopper was in his second season at White Hart Lane as he got to grips with life in the Premier League and of course he's still with Spurs and captain of the club. Right back was Kyle Norton. The fullback played 22 times in the league that season for Spurs, the most of his career at White Hart Lane, but left in 2015 to join Swansea City where he's pretty much been the club's first choice right back ever since. Centre back was Jan Vertonghen. Now a hero at the back for Spurs, the Belgian hasn't always been Maurizio Pochettino's top man, having been a backup when the Argentinian first arrived. Nowadays though, Vertonghen is a key component at White Hart Lane. Although it's Wembley technically, isn't it? He was alongside Yunus Kabul. Vertonghen hasn't always had Toby Aldevira to rely on. Back in 2014, he was playing alongside Frenchman Yunus Kabul. In 2017 though, Kabul is with Watford at the age of 31, having also spent a year at Sunderland. At left back was Danny Rose. The Yorkshireman is just back from injury and fighting with Ben Davies to be Pochettino's main left sided player, but back when Spurs were last beaten by Arsenal, he was coming towards the end of his first full season as a Tottenham regular, having been on loan at Sunderland the year before. Holding midfield was Sandro, and the Brazilian was embarking on his final season with the club, joining QBR in September 2014. He would have a loan spell at West Brom in 2016 and is now playing in Turkey for Antalyaspor, known as one of Spurs' more eccentric players in years gone by. He was alongside Nabil Bentaleb. One of the young players that Tim Sherwood tried desperately to bed in to prove how good a manager he was by giving youth a chance, the Algerian international headed on loan to Schalke in 2016 and is now there permanently. On the right wing was Andros Townsend. A Spurs lad since the age of 8, Townsend had a million and one loan spells before getting a chance with his parent club, but left in 2016 after a fallout with Maurizio Pochettino, but would unfortunately suffer relegation with new club Newcastle, which led to him joining Crystal Palace, where he almost suffered the same fate, and could well do this season, with the Eagles rock bottom of the Premier League. Attacking midfielder was Christian Eriksen. The best signing from the Gareth Bale money, Eriksen has got better and better as the years have gone by at Tottenham, and remains an important part of Pochettino's plans with his vision and creativity. Oh, and he also broke all of the Irish hearts the other night. Wide left was Nasser Chadley. One of the lesser signings from the summer of 2013, Chadley joined West Brom in 2016 and started brightly. But lately he's had some injury problems and he's probably sick of being made to run laughs by Tony Pulis. And up front was Emmanuel Adebayor. An ex-gunner, Adebayor's salute celebration was loved by Tim Sherwood, who decided to join the Togo forward on one occasion, making the nation cringe in the process. Alibayo had a brief spell with Crystal Palace and is now playing in Turkey for Istanbul Basha Keshir, or something like that. And now for Arsenal. The Gunners were still in with a chance of the Premier League title and victory over Tottenham lifted them into third and just four points behind Chelsea with a game in hand. Of course they didn't win the title as we all know, but let's look at the team that was of course managed by Arsene Wenger. In goal was Wojciech Szczesny. Having left Arsenal after being caught smoking in the showers, Chesney is now seemingly the heir to the Buffon throne at Juventus, waiting for the Italian to retire, probably chain smoking after every stunning save Buffon makes. At right back was Bakary Sanya. In the summer of 2014, Sanya left Arsenal and joined Man City like so many of his teammates have done, spending three years at Eastlands before being released in the summer, and amazingly the Frenchman still doesn't have a team. Per Mertesacker was at centre back, and the big effing German is still with the club, getting slower as the days go by as he dreams of retirement in the summer of 2018, preparing for a coaching role at Arsenal once his playing days end. He was alongside Lauren Koscielny, who was also still an Arsenal man, but much more important than Mertesacker, capturing the team whenever the World Cup winner isn't playing, which is most of the time to be fair. Age 32, Koscielny is still the best centre back Arsenal have got, and has been a victim of being underrated in years gone by. Left back was Kieran Gibbs. 
A product of Arsenal's youth academy, Gibbs was eventually replaced by Nacho Man Real as Arsenal's left back and left the club to join West Brom this summer with chances of the Emirates becoming more and more limited as the minutes passed by. In the middle was Miguel Arteta. The Aldi replacement to Cesc Fabregas, which is actually pretty harsh as there's nothing wrong with Aldi, Miguel Arteta barely played in the final two years of his Arsenal career after being named captain and is now riding high at the top of the Premier League as part of Pep Guardiola's coaching staff at Man City. He was alongside Santi Cazorla. The little Spaniard is still with Arsenal, but you'll be excused if you can't even remember what he looks like, it's been that long since he's been fit. A fabulous footballer when available, Cazorla recently had to have a skin graft to help heal his ankle and is currently expected to return in the new year. On the right was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Back then no one really knew what the Ox was actually good at and that's still the case in 2017 but he's Liverpool's problem now having moved to Anfield in the summer for a whopping £35 million. Attacking midfield was Thomas Rosicki. Another permanent sick note like Santi Cazorla, Rosicki was the match winner in the North London derby scoring the only goal of the game in the second minute making him the last player to score a winning goal against Tottenham in the league but he won't be available on Saturday, having returned to Sparta Prague in August 2016. On the left was Lukas Podolski. A man who was notoriously better for his country than his club, German forward Lukas Podolski left Arsenal in 2015 and joined Galatasaray and is now playing in Japan for Vissel Kobe, because obviously he didn't get the memo that China was the country in Asia that everyone was heading to. And up front was Olivier Giroud. Back in 2014 he was a starter for Arsenal, but Giroud is now the gun as a super sub, often changing games from off the bench with his brilliant aerial presence, link up play and fantastically groomed beard. Heavily linked with the move away during the summer, poor Giroud will always be an unsung hero. So that's where both the Tottenham and Arsenal teams are now from the last time that Arsenal beat their rivals in the Premier League. Let us know your predictions for the game in the comments below and whether or not you think Arsenal can become the North London top dogs once again. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.